Hey everybody, Young at Heart here, and welcome back to part 4 of The Walking Dead, episode 4, Around Every Corner. And we're going to go search for a battery. Look at that, paste. Ooh, I love paste. Just a bunch of paste. Clementine, don't eat the paste. I don't think there's anything really in here. So we're gonna find Molly. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You Don't coming or not? Fucking yell, Molly! You scared the shit out of me. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Okay, so we go get a battery, and I'm guessing the medicine and the fuel. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Where the yeah. hell is Molly? Hmm. That's a good question. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Good golly, Miss Molly. Nope, not that way. Okay, that's not ominous or anything. Ah, there we go. Ta da! Perfect landing, ten point ten. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. <laughs> Damn, it's jammed tight. I'm just not strong enough. <laughs> Better not get too close. Hmm. How are we gonna get in then? Oh shit! The fuck? Leave him! He's mine. Nice to see you. Okay, now I'm starting to really think that she used to be from here. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? Calm the fuck down! What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. I got a feeling she was from here or she knew someone from here or Did something. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh, Molly, you made too much noise, girl. Come on! Come 
on, Q, 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 Q. He's still alive! Oh, are we not taking that out? Take the damn jacket. Take a look out. around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. That's blinking. blinking. Must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. It's locked. No way in. No power. Mm. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. One day I'll catch a break. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda. <laughs> That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? <laughs> don't I'll judge. I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Yes, ma'am. All right, there we go. I did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, That's probably shit. not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Come on, come on, come on. Still attached to the terminals. I could we'll take the terminals off. Got that one off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! I'm moving it! Hey, no. don't rock the car. You fuck up the suspension. Skylight. It's shot. Shoot it out! Oh, yeah. you ever stop complaining? Come on. Damn, bitch. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Chicken. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Yeah, made it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! That. God damn it, bitch. what the hell is she doing? Bloody locker. Logan. Wolverine's locker! I don't know the combination to any of these. 
Surely you could just break it. I mean, it's not like it's heavy. Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was zombies. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. So that's the nurse's office. Which means they need a key. The doctor might have a key? Maybe. I'm going back out there unless I have a damn good reason. I got a goddamn reason. I want to go exploring. That's my reason. Little help! Little help here! Uh oh. Oh shit. Fuck! The doors won't close all the way! Do something! Move your damn head, boy! Break the door with something! Yeah, that's right. You damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel! Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> that's Kenny in a nutshell. What have you done no, for me in the last five minutes? There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's <clears throat> Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. It's your fault Kali's dead as well. I ain't blaming you for that. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. It ain't crumpy at me. You wanted my opinion. You tell him right now, he's gonna shoot your ass. So we need medicine. Oh shit. shit. How the hell did they get Mr. in? Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh. 
Like, seriously, how did they get in there? Yeah, fuck with me. You fuck with me, you fuck with Lee. All the way around. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Hmm. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. I know that. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Hmm. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson That's has ordered me to keep doctor records that of all Molly medical killed. examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Well, you Anna, should have thought you of that have before choice. you fucked with that protection. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. <laughs> but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn, this place is harsh. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Hmm. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's a lot of blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Already cleaned out. Hmm. So I reckon there's something with uh, Krista. Cause you show her the sonogram and she's like, I know exactly what that is. 
You know, she throws up all the time. And she's all motherly than Clementine. Uh, maybe she's pregnant. Maybe she had a kid. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Gonna go back up here. We oh, shit! <laughs> Jesus! God damn it, that scared the crap out of me. Fucking zombies. Damn it, Wally, no one went to finish your kill. Curb stomp. Yeah, he did there. Aha! This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. The locker. Shit, time to go. It's the locker combination from before. Logan, this must have been his locker. Now it opens straight away. Tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Ooh. Damn, bitch! No. No. So I guess she's the reason Crawford's going to shit. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you alright? What's wrong? See, she gets it's all nothing. emotional about this that shit. It's just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Alright. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Anything to do with a kid, she gets all cryptic. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Maybe it has something to do with Molly being connected to the dock. I mean, she was kicking his ass pretty big. So, obviously she knows him. Uh, 
Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Here we go. had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Why was he recording that? <laughs> well, shit. Well, at least we know why Molly knows all about Crawford. Shaz from hell. Why can't I hear the zombies back? Oh, shit! Christ. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. You're a bitch. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? Yes. I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This Damn. is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of court. I don't care. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Where, where's the axe on the door? There was an axe oh, bar. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ben. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, uh, Ben, you ben? idiots. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit! Damn, all of you badass. Lee, shoot this fucker! Fuck! Hey. Shot her. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Yeah, Clemmy. Little badass. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Oh. 
This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead, tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kenny, calm down. Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote- Come we on, leave. Kenny. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I wanna do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. <clears throat> what about the rest of us? Don't we get a no, shut up, bitch! Oh! Oh! Now can we go? Damn right! Damn! Burning, come on! Bye, Bree. I never liked you. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Nope. Ah, shit. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Ah, uh -huh, yeah, shotgun time. <laughs> Ain't no party like a shotgun party. <laughs> Bang! 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 Ah! Oh, come on, Lee! You fell over again. Bang! Bang! Get your damn foot out of there, man! Bang! Get your damn foot out! Yeah! Oh shit! Thank you, Krista. And gotcha. Chuck. And chuck. Gotcha. Chuck. Oh, this is Sparta. No, my axe. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Let's go. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. I'm a badass. It's okay. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. 
We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! What the fuck is ringing the bell? Oh, dude, there's a dude hanging from there. Holy shit, that was the guy that was on the poster for Crawford. I've got you! That was the leader of Crawford there. He's hanging himself. Here, climb up! Come on, you can do it! No, don't There's die, no Ben! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee. Ben the idiot. Lee, we both know. Oh, come on, Ben. Let me go. It's gonna make me choose. Pull him up. Pull him up. I don't like Ben. He's an idiot, and he keeps costing us people. But why? Go, go, he, go! I think he redeemed himself there. He would rather die than hold the group back. Good boy, Ben. Good boy. That'll do, Ben. That'll do. Krista. Everything okay? Oh, me! Oh no, he died. I knew we shouldn't have left Cle Clemmy here. It was a good idea. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! <clears throat> oh. Hey. Back already? <laughs> he was taking a nap. I got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Phew. Yes, thank you so yeah, much. Everybody made it out of there in one piece. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Lucky. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Yes. Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she Walk stays away, with you. Walk away, Vernon. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Walk be away. Safe. Fuck off. You didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. 
I know you think you're doing what's best for her. I and am. if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. Do you hear me? Take your hands off me. She's not a fucking Pokemon card, dude. You can't trade her. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Well, she leaving. She's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Hmm. I was hoping you be stay sure with to us. take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Molly would be good to have on the team. Like, she's freaking tough. Hey, sweet pea. Henny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? We'll go wherever Kenny says. He's a good captain, and he knows the water's down south. He'll know where to take us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he feels kid. guilty. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, Clem. Every time Clem gets upset, it makes me upset. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> Clementine? Oh, uh, she hasn't worn it off again, has she? Clementine? Oh, no, the radio's gone as well. Oh, damn it. She's disappeared again, hasn't she? Clementine? Clementine! God damn, that little kid keeps disappearing. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Clem's hat. Walkie-talkie.
Choki. She hasn't been kidnapped, has she? Oh shit! Fucking hell, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, thank god. Phew. Oh, wait. No. No. Oh, come on, no. No, 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 no. Lee got no. bit. No. Fuck. No. Fuck. Lee? No. Lee? You out here? Not Lee. Lee. Shit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? What the fuck? Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about Oh, me. no, Lee. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. A bit. So that's settled then. Thank you. We'll look you. for Clementine together. Krista, I know me. Guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Really. Kenny, don't be a dick. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. And I've been on your and side for a Christian lot. I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you yes. be there for me? I've looked out for your family. Times when you ain't been. I looked out for your family several times. Come on, she's my family. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters, and you were there for Kachi. Hell yeah, Duck. I it was. Most, I guess. All right, I'm in. Good boy. What about you, Ben? Good boy. Now hold Kenny. on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive? You leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? Come on, Ben. I don't know. She stood, stood up for you. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Fuck. Where the hell 
are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Got bit, damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh oh. That's a shit ton of walkers. Me? Are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please don't hurt her. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, we got bit. 74% of players decided to kill the boy. 33% threatened him. I didn't mean to threaten him. You and 73% of players brought Clementine. Good. 60 cent. 6% of players pulled Ben up. 80% revealed their bite. Okay, so we must get bitten no matter what. Alright. God damn it. We got bit! Oh! You can see how many people came with us. So... Most people got the whole group. Okay, cool. So there we go. We got everybody to come with us. Good. Alright. So this episode was depressing. <laughs> Fucking hell. Seeing a lot more action though. A lot more zombie killing which is good. So. If you liked the episode. Let us know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and all the social media stuff. And we shall see you for the fifth and final episode of The Walking Dead. Bye!